Just don't forget I muted you also while you're getting everything ready. And it is wonderful for all of us to be here together to join in a Shabbat service as our screens are united kind of literally across the country in Cleveland and I believe Columbus and Chicago and Arizona and Hawaii and our um, artist who we'll talk about in a little while is in California. And so we are united in our screens making one really beautiful and big sanctuary. And so we begin Shabbat with intention by first taking a deep breath in and then letting it go. setting our space and our time. And then our next breath, we take another deep breath in. Hold it for a moment. And when we release, we let go of the week. And with this next breath, we breathe in the sweetness of Shabbat. And let it go. We release. And we have started to breathe in that sweet, sweet smell that we can only have that spice that can only be had on Shabbat. And now we turn to song. We turn to raising our voices. Remember, you can sing at home, no one can hear you. And so if you sing like me, it's pretty awesome. Cause then you can sing really, really loud and you don't get any of the faces. As long as you you're get. Not to mute, you're fine, right? Yeah, every once in a while I forget to mute and it's a problem. So, um, but we will get to listen to Deb and all of us at home will raise our voices loudly. Uh, while on mute. Let's start with Hine, because we all know this one and we're all going to enjoy it together. So let me, let me see you singing. Hine matovu manayim shevet achim gam yachad Hine matovu manayim Shevet achim gam yachad Hine matov Shevet achim gam yachad Hine matov Shevet achim gam yachad Hine matov Manayim shevet achim gam yachad. Hine matovu manayim shevet achim gam yachad. Hine matov, hine matov. Ya la 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 la. Hine matov, hine matov. Ya la 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 la. Hine matovu manayim. Shevet achim gam yachad Hine matovu manayim Shevet achim gam yachad And we begin with this new reading that I found Oops. There we go, that I wanted to share with you. I found it just last week about how special it is for us to be together, Hine Matov, uh, even if we are on Zoom, the blessing of faces. So many beautiful faces, so many radiant souls shining forth into our hearts. Look at those eyes, the smiles, the hopes, the fears, the yearning, the questioning, the compassion, the love. Take it in, take it all in. The tenderness, the humanity, the blessing of faces arrayed before you. The blessing of faces given and received. 
we turn now to candles and kiddish. If you uh, have your candles and your kiddish available, I would love for you to join me and light the candles together. We gather the candles light in our eyes as we bless your name, even as our ancestors blessed them before you and rested smiles upon our faces. Beloved creator, you fashion Shabbat and wrap around us the light of your peace even as we praise you, even as we praise your name. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kitshanu b'mitvotav v'tivanu l'had likner, Lehad Ligner shall shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who makes us holy with mitzvot and who teaches us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. And we continue with Kiddush. The heaven and the earth were finished in all their array. On the seventh day, God finished the work that God had been doing. And God stopped on the seventh day from all the work that God had done. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because on that day, God ceased from all the work of creation that God had done. Baruch atarunai Eloheinu melech haolam, bare peri hagafen. Baruch atarunai Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kitshanu b'mitzvot averat avanu, v'shabar kacho be'ahava uvraton hinchilanu, zikaron lemase v'reshit, ki hu yom tehila lemikrae kodesh, zecher letihad mitraim. Kivanu vacharta, viotanu kidashta, mikol hamim, veshabat kochecha, beava uvraton, hinchaltanu. Baruch atarunai mekadesh hashabat. Amen. L'chaim. L'chaim. So this opening reading is from Rabbi Rachel Berenblatt. Open. God is the doorman, the one you don't notice holding the heavy panel so you can go through. God is the hinge that swings the door, the joint and socket that make opening possible. God is the door through which you walk from one chapter to the next, adorned with words that remind you who you are becoming, who you really are. We turn to the Baruch Hu, which is our call to worship. And it says to God, you know, we've warmed up a little bit and now it's time to say to each other and to God, we're ready to pray. Please rise in body or in spirit. Baruch Hu et Adonai Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Vaed. So the next prayer, this is a translation of Ahavat Olam, um, of what it means for the day to change to the night, of what, what we're asking God for at the twilight hour. Praised are you, God, ruler of the universe who has ordained the rhythm of life. The day with its light calls to activity and exertion. But when the day wanes, when with the setting of the sun, colors fade, we cease from our labors and welcome the tranquility of the night. The subdued light of the moon and stars, the darkness and the stillness about us invite rest and repose. 
Trustfully, we yield the quiet of sleep, for we know that while we are unaware of what goes on within and around us, our powers of body and mind are renewed. Therefore, at this evening hour, we seek composure of spirit. We give thanks for the day and its tasks and for the night and its rest. Praised are you, God, who brings on the evening. And the Shema, the watchword of our faith, we sing together. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Leolam Vahed You may be seated. Be'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha Be'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol me'odecha Ve'hayu ha'dvarim ha'ele Asher anochi metzavcha Hayom al levavecha Ve'shinan tam levanecha ve'dibarta pam Beshivtecha, bevetecha, uvlachtecha, vaderech, uvshochbecha, uvkumecha, uksartam leot al yadecha, veha yula tutafot, bene necha, uchtavtam, amezuzot betecha, uvisharecha. Leman tis keru vasitem et komits vertai, vitem kedoshim lelo hechem. Ani adonai lo hechem. Asher hotse tietchem, meer et mitraim, liot lachem lelo him. Ani adonai lo hechem. We turn to oh, we turn to um, Micha Mocha, our song of freedom. And I Passover is around the corner, which is mind-boggling to me. And uh, even though we've been teaching about Passover and getting ready for Passover, it's really in just over two weeks. And what what's helping me to prepare for Passover is to think about the word Mitzrayim. The Israelites are, when we celebrate Passover, the Israelites leave Mitzrayim, which is Egypt, but it also comes from the connected word narrow straits. And we have been in narrow straits for a year. It was yesterday, a year ago that it was uh, COVID-19 was officially declared a pandemic. It was, I, you know, just it, March 17th is when we closed the temple building, when schools closed. And so we have been in narrow straits for a very long time. And we are emerging from those narrow straits. And so we may not be fully experiencing freedom, but what we're beginning to understand is that from narrow straits, we can emerge, we can find hope and we can come through. And so as we sing Micha Mocha today, we can imagine ourselves one day dancing again with those we love. We can imagine what it would feel like to celebrate with abandon. And so let's try to sing with that kind of freedom. Mocha baeli madonai, mi kamocha nedar ba kodesh. Mi kamocha baeli madonai, mi kamocha nedar ba kodesh. No ratei lot o sefele, no ratei. Oh, 
Zecha ra uva necha Bokea yam lifne Moshe u Miriam Ze eli anu ve amru Ze eli anu ve ameru Adonai imloch leolam from experiencing the possibility of freedom, we also turn to asking God for protection. Hashkivenu is our evening lullaby when we think about what, what could we still be scared of? What could we ask and what could we need? And so we ask for God to provide for each of us a sukkat shalom, for God to provide, whether it is physical, emotional, spiritual, a sukkat shalom. We sing together. Ashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu le shalom, le shalom. Le hamidenu mokenu le chayim. Ufros aleinu sukkat shlomecha, ufros aleinu sukkat shlomecha. Amen. Shelter us beneath thy wings, O Adonai. Guard us from all harmful things, O Adonai. Keep us safe. God wrong from right. Amen. 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 Shamru is the reminder to celebrate Shabbat. And I always find it amusing that we have Vishamru here when we're already celebrating Shabbat. And so it, um, it reminds me that what we're supposed to do is not just rest, that we have an obligation to observe and at the last word, Vayinafash, to renew ourselves. We sing together. The Shamru Bene Israel at a Shabbat, La Sot at a Shabbat, Le Dorotamerito Lam, the Shamru. Vene Israel et ha Shabbat, la sot et ha Shabbat, le Dorotam berit olam. Bein iu vein vene Israel, o ti le olam, o ti le olam. Veshamru vene Israel et ha Shabbat, 
La sot de tasha bat le doro tamberi do lam. Ki sheshet ya mi masadonai, asadonai, et ha shamayim ve et ha aret ve shamru ve ne Israel et ha shabat. La sot de tasha bat le doro tamberi do lam. Uvayom ha shvi shabat vayna fash. Shavad vayinafash, shavad vayinafash, veshamru vene Yisrael et hashabat. Laasot et hashabat, le dorot amberit olam, veshamru vene Yisrael et hashabat. La sot et ha shabbat le dorot amberit olam. We turn now to the Amidah, which is the center of our service. The rabbis understood, our ancient rabbis understood that, you know, we get a little distracted here and there. Here and there. And uh, so this first is, First piece is actually not a prayer, it's an intention. It reminds us to refocus ourselves. And then the first prayer is a reminder that we stand upon the shoulders of those who come before us, our forefathers and foremothers, and then God's strength, and then a prayer for the sanctity of this day. Please rise in body or in spirit. Adonai sefatai tiftach ufi agite hilatecha. Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Velohe Avoteinu Vimoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Velohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Velohe Leha Ha El Hagadol Hagibor Vahanora El El Yon Gomel Hasadim Tovim Bekone Hakol Bezocher Haste Avot Beimahot Ume Vige Ula Liv Nevene Hem Lema Anshemo Beahava Mele Hoser Humoshia Umagain Baruch Ata Adonai, Magen Avraham ve'ezrat Zara. Ata Gibor Le'olam Adonai, Mechaye HaKol Ata Rav Lehoshia. Mechalkel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye HaKol Berachamim Rabim. So Mech Noflim Ve'rofecholim. Umatir asurim, umekaye memunato, lishe ne afar, micha mocha baal gevurot, umido melach, melech me mi du mechaye, umat mi ach yeshua, mene emana tale hachayot hakol, baruchata adonai, I was ahead one Khatima. It's okay. <laughs> Just this time we'll forgive you, Deb. Thank you. Okay. But next time, forget it. Okay. It really, that, that, that whole little conversation fits in not at all with the next part of our service, which is about thankfulness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful for you, Rabbi Van. I'm grateful for you, Deb. We're having a little love fest here. <laughs> one of the things that we do during the service, which is actually probably one of my favorite parts of the service, is recognizing that even during hard times and even during this entire year of struggle of what we'll talk about in uh, in just a few moments is 
missing an opportunity to celebrate and even acknowledge missed, missed moments, missed opportunities in our lives, we have um, given thanks. We've taken some time to recognize the blessings and moments of gratitude. So as we uh, sing Shalom Rav, I invite you to look at the chat, which is for most people in the bottom middle of your screen. You can click on the icon that says chat, uh, make sure it says to everyone and share some things for which you are grateful. Uh, perhaps it's the beautiful weather. Um, those of you in warmer climates are, are, are get it all year round, but we've had a very cold winter. So uh, maybe it's the sunshine. Maybe there are other things that you'd like to share with us. So please share that and uh, we'll sing together. Shalom Rav, O Yisrael Amucha, Tassim Le'olam. Shalom Rav, O Yisrael Amucha, Tassim Le'olam. Ki Atahu Melech Adon, Lechol HaShalom. Shalom, Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Le'olam. Shalom Rav Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Le'olam. Betov Be'enecha Levarek. Amcha Yisrael, bechol etu bechol shat pishlomecha. Shalom Rav Yisrael, Amcha Tassim leolam. Shalom Rav Yisrael. Even as we know that there are blessings and there are things for which we can be grateful, we also know that there are many whom we love who are struggling. They are struggling with uh, ill health, whether it be a physical need to heal, whether it be mental, um, mental health or whether they just are struggling in general. And so we take this time to offer a Misha Berach, to offer a healing, to all of those who are struggling. And we also lift up those who are struggling with COVID and those who are struggling with caring for those with COVID. As we sing to go, oh, sorry, please use the chat to lift up those whom you love, uh, those who are, uh, those whom you love, whether by name or if they're a group so that you can, we can lift them up together and give them strength as well. We sing together.
We take a few moments for silent prayer and reflection. So we've been talking about this thing called turning points and very few of you know what it is. So now we're going to unveil this mystery. Um, and this is what turning points is. It's going to happen periodically in the period of the, where the sermon or the Devar Torah usually happens. And so turning points is a periodic ritual, which will be celebrated here in this spot. And what is it? During the pandemic, it has been harder and harder to pay attention to the transitions in our lives that deserve to be honored. Turning Points provides a ritual to honor the major moments, the times in our lives by providing sacred space and place for these milestone moments. There are so many turning points in our lives 
Um, in the last year alone, we as a congregation have missed sharing our lives together. Whether some, what some of us have published books, some of us have retired, we've welcomed children and grandchildren, we've grieved a delayed bar mitzvah, we've had career changes, um, we've, had, we've lost loved ones and we haven't had our communal support and our lives have continued and it's been hard and it's been good. Turning Points honors the holiness of our life's journeys. How will we do this? Each month, we'll hear one member's story. Jonathan is already highlighted. Uh, stories, as we know, are powerful. They connect us to each other and inspire deep reflection. And you'll have a chance to reflect and at a certain point during the ritual, if you wish, you'll have a chance to share. And as you have probably already guessed, music will always be a part of this ritual. And so will art, which is why this person that you don't know is also next to me. Welcome Rabbi Ali Fishman. Rabbi Ali is a camp director. Camp Newman in California is one of the camps for the reform movement. She's also an artist. She is an artist who does live illustration. So she is going to draw are at something beautiful from our shared experience. At a certain point, we're gonna share the screen and we're gonna get to watch her draw. And all of the, each ritual, she will illustrate live the experience of the ritual. And we've received a grant for Rabbi Ali to join us six times. After the sixth service, a piece of art is going to be created, which will be placed prominently at the synagogue. For, um, because, missing our building is a turning point. And so we're going to bring this with us back into the synagogue. And so now to turning points. I am so grateful to Jonathan Yasani, who is our first speaker tonight. What I've asked of him is not easy. And so I wanna go on record saying, Jonathan, you are courageous, you are wonderful, and Thank you for going first. I'm gonna step out and let you share your story. Shabbat Shalom. I would like to thank Rabbi Van for recognizing that life has carried on for all of us during this horrific pandemic and researching a grant to help create an empowering program that allows us to step back and recognize the turning points in our lives. I must say, the form of creating a ritual, an act of doing for a sincere purpose is only the tip of the iceberg that draws me to Judaism, which I will touch upon later. We continue through life and for some of us, perhaps we have minimized our milestones because of the collective chaos we endure in the world, but to ground ourselves in the present and take the time to celebrate one another helps bring joy to all people. I know that I have found a sense of comfort in knowing that I have been able to log on to Shabbat service Friday nights and be amongst congregants that are so welcoming and comforting to me. Although we have our virtual platforms for staying connected, we have all continued to move through our journey of life with the good and the bad, without the physical connection of support that was once our normal form of socialization. This past year, we have learned to reevaluate our environment and continuously adapt our ways of thinking and daily activities. During these times of uncertainty, I have found myself immersed with my dementia clients at JFSA, who had relied on the stimulation of social activities to find purpose, normalization, and validation in their lives. Yet today, many find themselves isolated and even defeated. Stepping back and thinking about my clients, I started to reflect on my own life. I am working with many Jewish clients that have had a lifetime of Jewish culture and Jewish community involvement. Stories of performing mitzvot, acts of chesed, learning, growing, and purpose. These experiences brought me to the realization that I am missing this piece in my life, meaning I converted to Judaism on August 17, 2018, and I'm still feeling lost. 
Indeed, I work at JFSA, which has been a dream come true for me. I can work in a program with older adults that allows me to make a positive and healthy difference in their lives. Best of all, I am working within a Jewish organization, meaning I can celebrate Jewish holidays at work amongst my colleagues and learn about different customs and practices that I can bring into my personal experience. However, as a convert, I find that I am missing the link to celebrating with fellow Jews. I have tremendous support and acknowledgement within my family, both throughout my conversion and after, including our interfaith celebrations of holidays. I have enjoyed teaching my family about the Jewish holidays and having them celebrate with me too, but I still feel an emptiness. Through my curiosity and exploration of finding the right shul, I found myself welcomed at Suburban Temple Kolomi. I was so nervous that I would be looked at as not being Jewish enough as a convert. And of course I have the LGBT thing going on. So I cautiously found myself as a guest but quickly realized that I'm surrounded by people that embrace my individuality and were only interested in me for who I am. During the pandemic, I made the decision to join Suburban Temple Colony because I wanted to be around people that not only supported me, but would allow me to grow and learn without judgment. I wanted to be able to join and practice the meaningful rituals of Judaism and incorporate a Jewish existence beyond my work. I converted because Judaism made sense to me in so many personal ways. And knowing that I have been welcomed into a community that shares similar values and a worldview was very comforting and meaningful to me. The pandemic enabled the action stage of change for me to find happiness in my life and mend the disconnection I have felt in my Jewish journey that will continue to develop and grow throughout my life. In fact, I am part of the B'nai Mitzvah class, which is absolutely a wonderful experience. I never thought I would have the opportunity like this in my life. I am learning Hebrew on top of adding depth and depth to the knowledge of Judaism. To have Rabbi Van personally call me and ask me to be a part of Turning Points is an unbelievable honor. I am finding comfort in my own shoes, which is continuously validated by all of you. Thank you all for allowing me into your lives and thank you Rabbi Fishman for adding to the beauty of this moment and Deb for your music and support of this ritual. Thank you so much. Jonathan, thank you for your beautiful story, for your courage to go first. Um, I, I'm hoping that more people will want to share their stories, but I'm a little nervous that no one's going to want to follow you. So, cause it was so beautiful. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So um, we'll, we'll let you unspotlight and take a breath now. It was extraordinary. Thank you so much. Each of us is um, holy and each of us is different and our journeys are too. And while we listen to Deb debut an anthem that's going to happen every time we uh, have turning points, we're also going to watch Ali live draw. I have an opportunity for you, each, each one on this service to share, to put in the chat if you've had a turning point, if you've had a major transition that's happened this year, what is your turning point? What is your major moment that you would like to share with this congregation? Allie, if you haven't already started doing it, now is the time to share your screen. Thank you. We can't wait to see what you've been working on. I've always been good at beginning.
thoughts fading off into the distance I love the sense of endless possibility yeah open skies and no resistance But it's the choices we make that determine our life shapes that tell us who we're gonna be and it's the chances we take that define our direction that celebrate the you and the me come on let's celebrate the you and the Days move on just like the ones before. Trapped inside an empty box, always wanting more. I don't want to settle for mediocrity, no. But it's so hard to drag this dream for mediocrity. But it's so hard to drag this dream into reality. But it's the choices we make that determine our life shapes, that tell us who we're gonna be. And it's the chances we take that define our direction that separate the you from the me. Come on, let's celebrate the you and the me. Come on, let's be the people we were meant to be. that made the journey will I close my eyes and enjoy it all again or will I have to wonder at what might have been but it's the choices we make that determine our life shapes that tell us who we're gonna be and it's the chances we take that define our direction that separate the you from the me come on let's celebrate the you and the me come on let's be the people we were meant to be We had a little bit of technical issues. Let's see if we can work them out. Rabbi Ali, is your iPad back in the meeting? It is, I'm so sorry, but if you give it um, privileges one more time, I can, I can share and we can keep it on for another minute if that's okay. Sure. It's just beautiful. Yeah, uh, JB, JB, I think you need to look for the, with the iPad. 
What's the what's the name of it? I'm scrolling back and forth. It's Ra it's it's Rabbi Ali Frischman also, but it's the one where her it doesn't have her beautiful face, but her beautiful picture. Okay. <laughs> I thought she was just being suspenseful. Well, it do, there is there is it'll be like a big reveal when we get to do it, and we'll work it out for you know what for and the next time too. One nice thing also is that. Um, if all went well, um, you're recording as well the process of creating this. So Correct. you do this later. Oh. So Rabbi Rabbi Ali was doing this live while um, while Deb was singing, and so while we're watching, I have a blessing. I want to. So Ali, why don't you keep drawing, and I'll end with a blessing. Blessed are you, eternal God who brings us to the goodness of this moment. We are grateful for the blessings and even for the struggles and the losses too, for they remind us of our unique humanity. We are grateful for the support and connection of this community. May we continue to uplift and care for each other as we note our turning points. May the spirit of this community, the inspiration of story, the harmony of music, and the beauty of art bring increased fulfillment and goodness to all of our lives. And let us say together, amen. Amen. And Deb, could we end with a Shehachianu? I think we absolutely should. Uh, give me one moment. I knew I forgot to queue up one thing, but I do have it right here. It's technical fun day for, for us today. want to keep watching i know i said i i hate to do this rabbi ali but we're gonna have to ask you to stop sharing this beautiful screen even as i know you're going to keep drawing and so every service every turning points will have a story and a song while deb is singing we will we will work out our technical kinks and we will get to watch Ali draw and all of those pieces will be brought together in one, one piece and brought into the temple. And meanwhile, we will now return to our share, another share, so that we can turn to the Alenu. Uh, please rise in body or in spirit. Let us adore the ever-living God and render praise unto you, who spreads out the heavens and established the earth, whose glory is revealed in the heavens above, and whose greatness is manifest throughout the world. You are our God, there is none else. <laughs> Lifne 
le melech al kol haaretz bayom ha'hu bayom ha'hu yeh adonai echad u'shemo 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 We turn now to our memorial meditation, to our time of remembering. When I die, give what's left of me away to children and old men that wait to die. And if you need to cry, cry for your brother walking the street beside you. And when you need me, put your arms around anyone and give them what you need to give to me. I want to leave you something, something better than words or sounds. Look for me and the people I've known or loved. And if you cannot give me away, at least let me live in your eyes and not in your mind. You can love me most by letting hands touch hands, by letting bodies touch bodies, and by letting go of children that need to be free. Love doesn't die, people do. So when all that's left of me is love, give me away. On this Shabbat, we remember in Shloshim in the first month, since their death, Adele first, Pearl Wolfs, Ronnie Yaxley. And we mark the yard site, the anniversary of death, anniversaries of their deaths that fall on this Shabbat. Irene Baer, Phyllis Benet, Michael F. Castle, Otto Danford, Emery Dobo, Jacob M. Fisher, Ruth G. Freeman, Ray Ellen Seiden Garrison, Samuel L. Glazer, Sylvester Greenbaum, Norton Greenfield, Nancy S. Hyams, Larry Kaufman, Adolph LaRange, Lawrence B. Litt, Walter F. Lyons, Henrietta Simon Reske, Henry E. Roth, Benjamin H. Chattel, Lily Glick Schulist, Morton Schwartz, Rosalie Toots W. Simon, Sidney Solomon, Sally Weiss Stashauer, Florence R. Stern, Louise K. Stone, Anna L. Vactor, Perry Van, Elsie B. Weil, Louis Weisberg, Roger Adolph Zucker. Our griefs and sympathies are mingled and we turn to the mourner's cottage. Rise, we rise in body or in spirit. Yid Gadal, Viet Kadash, Shemei Rabbah. Bialma divra hirute, Bialmlich mahute, Bahaye hon of your mehon, Uvhaye de ho bait Israel, Baagala obisman kari, vi imru, amen. Yehe shime raba, mevorah leolam alme almaya, Yet barah, be it tabah, be it paar, be it romam, be it nase, be it hadar, be it tale, be it talal, shame de kudusha bariku, Le ilamin ko birhata vishirata. Tush Bahata Venechamata, Da Amiran Bialma, Bi Imru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Raba Min Shemaya, Bechaim Alenu Vial Ko Yisrael, Bi Imru, Amen. O say Shalom Bim Romav, Uya a say Shalom, Alenu Vial Ko Yisrael, Bi Imru, Amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and give comfort to all who are bereaved, and let us say together, Amen. Amen. So I'd like to ask our president of our congregation, Matt Lehman, to unmute and share just a little bit what's going on. Uh, I Hi, know Rabbi Matt, Van. There Shabbat, you are. <laughs> yes, hey, Shabbat Shalom, uh, everyone. Shabbat. Wonderful to see you all virtually, as always, and hope my uh, those in Cleveland did get a chance to enjoy this beautiful early spring weather. Um, first off, a couple of thank yous. Obviously, thank you to Rabbi Van and Deb Rogers for leading us through a beautiful service tonight. Thank you so much to Jonathan for kicking us off a, a wonderful Turning Point series and to uh, Rabbi Fishman for her uh, beautiful illustrations. We have uh, five more opportunities to look forward to this. And I know uh, based on tonight's both uh, words from Jonathan and Rabbi Fishman's illustrations, it will be a wonderful uh, series to look forward to. So thank you very much. Um, speaking of things to look forward to, 
uh, Passover is just around the corner. Uh, so uh, the Bake Along is occurring again this upcoming week on the 15th. Uh, spend some time with Rabbi Shana to, to get some additional knowledge about Passover. And of course, um, the always lovely uh, Women's Seder is scheduled for a week from Sunday, uh, March uh, 21st. Um, please RSVP uh, for that by March 18th. Um, a couple of other reminders. There was a survey that went out yesterday uh, as we look to uh, reopening uh, the, the, the grounds and ideally being together in person at some point, um, it would be very helpful to get your feedback. So if you uh, haven't had a chance to uh, respond, would very much look forward to it. If you didn't see the link, uh, please drop an email to Brett um, and, uh, and, and we will make sure that you get it. And last, of course, but not least, uh, we do spring forward uh, this weekend. So uh, enjoy uh, the longer daylight hours. Don't forget to change your clocks on uh, Saturday night or Sunday morning, depending on whether you're a night owl or an early riser. Um, so again, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for being with us. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Matt. And thanks for the extra reminder. We definitely need that. And uh, Deb, let's sing something. Let us indeed. I thought this would be... Uh... A good night for Adon Olam. And again, if you don't know the words, we're doing the call and response. So um, please respond. I'm watching for your mouths. Adon Olam, Adon Olam, Asher Malach, Asher Malach, Beteram Kol, Beteram Kol, Yitzir Nivra, Yitzir Nivra, Le Eit Nasa, Le Eit Nasa, Bechet Tzokol, Azai Malach Shemo Nikra, Adon Olam, Beacharei Kiplot Hakol, Levado Yimloch Nora, Adon Olam, Behu Haya. Behu hover, behu ye ye beti fara adon olam adon olam adon olam asher malach asher malach beteram kol beteram kol yitzir nivra yitzir nivra le eight nasa bechem tzokol azay malach shemo nikra adon olam behu echad veyin sheni. La ham shilo la hachbira adon olam. Beli reshit, beli tachlit, belo haos beha misra adon olam. Adon olam, adon olam. Asher malach, asher malach. Beterem kol, beterem kol. Yetzir nivra, leyet nasa, leyet nasa. Bechet zokol, azay malach shemo nikra adon olam. Behu eli, vechai goali, vetsur chedli be eit sara adon olam. Behu nisi, umanos li, menat kosi be yomekra adon olam, adon olam, adon olam. Asher malach, asher malach, beterem kol, beterem kol, yetzir nivra, yetzir nivra, le eit nasa, le eit nasa, bechep tzokol. Azai melech shemo nikra adon olam Beyado avkid ruchi Beit ishan veayira adon olam Beim ruchi geviyati Gevdar naili veloira adon olam Adon olam adon olam Asher malach asher malach Beterem kol beterem kol Yitzir nivra, le'et nasa, le'et nasa, bechet zokol, asai melech shemo nikra adon olam. As we move into the benediction, I ask you, I just invite you to look at the chat that Rabbi Ali put up um, that talks about her inspiration for the piece. It's really quite beautiful. Yevarech Adonai ve'yishmarech May God bless you and keep you. 
May the light of God's presence shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God lift up each one of us and may God bring us shalom, peace, and wholeness. Amen. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Let's say Motsi, I don't have a challah today. No, I don't know what happened. I was running like a crazy person today. Well, hold him up, folks, so we can see him. Hold him up and help me out. Don't have one. Oops. We have dessert. <laughs> We have dessert. I love it. We have dessert. <laughs> Kingdom for a challah. He has got some. All right. Here we go. We Gluten free. We'll, we'll say it and then we can uh, segue into dinner. We'll all be ready. Here we go. Okay, we're hungry. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as our prayer is humbly said. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam HaMotzi Lechem Min Haaretz Amen. The table. Jonathan saves the day. Jonathan, hold it up. You have a beautiful challah. There we go. Okay, perfect. Hey, there it Woo is. Okay. You may unmute everyone.